Many parents see the results of the non-invasive prenatal testing or cell-free DNA testing and they get confused. So this uh, is just to clarify some questions. We have the different trisomies that are tested. Either you can test just the three trisomies or an extended test which includes trisomies of different natures, uh, sex uh, chromosome as well as the microdeletion <coughs> testing. Uh, in terms of the uh, trisomies you can see the risk profile and obviously it's either uh, low risk intermediate risk or high risk and uh, in terms of the uh, sensitivity and specificity it's how accurate the test is likely to be so for the normal trisomies it's quite high and for the micro deletions it's fairly low uh, there's a long list of micro deletions and um, other genetic uh, conditions that can be detected but obviously uh, the rarer the condition, the more likely that you may have a false positive test leading to unnecessary anxiety. So if you are just doing the NAPT for uh, antenatal scan related concerns, go for the basic trisomy, extended screen only needed in some situations.